I had a good childhood. Uh, I really had everything I wanted, so I did whatever I wanted, yeah. Played a lot of sports, and with the sports came a little drinking, smoking some pot. In my high school years, started uh, playing with other things like uh, ice. It was just a weekend thing. Later on, it just became a need. That was my life. Selling ice, doing ice was my life. Until my children were taken away. That's when I opened my eyes. I did the 911 prayer. Lord, if you get me out of this and help me with my life, I'll change, you know. And he heard. The friend that I was sleeping on his couch went through the ARC program. And uh, I talked to him about it. And he said, you know, it is a good program. December 1st, 2009, I came into the ARC. And then I remember one of the things we were studying, we were talking about what would it take for you to know that God was real? And I remember what Rocky said. He said, um, if I were to get a job, get my own place, and get my kids back. So we all prayed about that. And not too long after, each one of those things began to come through. You know, he got a job working at the ARC as a truck driver after he graduated. What I think stands out most for him is that he's kind to the men. He mentors them. My routes take me right by the park that I used to live at. And um, I see people that I was with all the time. I let them know that they can change if they want to change. When he graduated from the program, I saw this guy whose life had been transformed. You could see that God was just turning him into this responsible dad. It changed my life. And then he was able to get a place um, right next to the core, and he was able to get his kids back and get sole custody of them. I wasn't sure if I was ready, but it was so long I said, I'm ready. And when it happened, it was um, overwhelming. My children are living in the house that I grew up in, and um, I could ask for nothing more. <laughs>